What is it? I got the new uh, Gravely Pro Walk with the intuitive steering. Well, let's talk about it. Off on the love of guitars, girls, green grass, and guns. Yeah. We're going to start off with the front of the mower here and we're going to talk about the x-factor 2 deck it's a couple years old so if any of you know it has an adjustable baffle in it so you can adjust to your wet or dry conditions uh, if it's not cutting just right for you you can adjust that baffle and have a different airflow underneath there picking up the grass shooting it out better so that's a great feature on this and next i want to talk about the deck lifting system on this as you can see it's just an easy pull on the handle and to, to change that, you pull the pin, you stick it in there, you're at five inches. Uh, you don't have chains holding this deck down. It's not, a, it's not attached to the front casters. So all you have is this one nut right here and this one nut right here to actually level out your deck. And as far as raising it and lowering it, I mean, I'm down here on the ground doing this with one hand. This is very easy to adjust. So, you know, two and a half inches all the way up to five inches just that easy and I'm down on my knees doing this so that's uh, very easy to do that so another thing I know that a lot of you guys know about the x-factor 2 deck but one of the things I'm really impressed about is how this is actually attached to the deck you can simply just lift it up and it stays into place it clamps itself there no more taking bungee cords tying it down to the deck no more removing this putting it in your truck putting it in your house leaving it at home so if you're ever up against a house and you quickly need to get that grass flap down pick it up throw it down and you're there it's I, I really like this being attached to the deck so now we're going to talk about the biggest and most impressive feature on the gravely pro walk this is a 52 inch. I drove this down here to where we are at the moment. It's only, I don't know, 100 yards, but I drove it down here with ease. My first time driving this besides at GIE, and that was only at a couple of feet in distance. So let's dig into this intuitive steering and I'll show you exactly how that works. I'm gonna quickly go over the controls here. Most of it is self-explanatory. You have your uh, rabbit and turtle speed there. You have your parking brake right here. You also have another lever right here I will go into in just a second. This uh, operator control safety switch right here must be engaged in order for this machine to run. And it's only probably a two pound pressure, which is not, I mean, your hand just rests on it and it goes. So this is the only thing that you have to press down whenever you're running this mower. No more squeezing levers with five to eight pounds of pressure and wearing your wrists out. This is a simple electric switch, so it just, it's easy. So in order to get this machine running, first you want to turn your key on. You want to keep the electric safety switch down and you want to make sure all of your green lights are lined up. I know it's kind of hard to see out here in the bright sun, but you want to keep, uh, you want to get it started. You want to make sure your PTO is off, your parking brake is set, and then you can start it. So now we're going to talk about the forward and reverse feature on this. It's, a, it's just like a motorcycle. You twist it to go forward. It's actually the opposite, but it's just like it. And you twist it backwards for reverse. I'm not sure about the speed on this machine, but it's definitely a little bit more than I want to walk all day long. And there's also a neutral in the middle. There's a couple things on this machine that I would have liked to have seen changed, but I understand the concept so your hands are not getting fatigued. This does not spring back to neutral. So anytime you want to slow down or stop, you need to actually find that neutral position and turn it back. So it's not really a flaw. It's just something that I would like to see changed. So before we start mowing, I want to go over these two yellow levers right here. One is your parking brake, and of course, like any mower, it's got to be set in order for you to start it. It's got to be set in order for it to stay running while you're parked. So when this machine starts, you want to take your parking brake off. And with this lever turned all the way back here, you have essentially a posi track. 
So both of your tires are going to be spinning at the same speed. There's not going to be any turning of this mower unless you physically turn this mower. And it's not really pleasant to do that with a posi track. As many of you would know that have posi track rear ends in your vehicles, it's the same thing. One wheel's going to want to skip while the other one's trying to keep up with the other one. So you're just going to dig up ground. So now all you got to do is push this lever forward and you're back into intuitive steering and it is so easy it's just if you've ever rode a motorcycle you know how you have to only think of where you're going and that's where the motorcycle will go that's essentially the way the same thing with this works i mean if you just basically think about where you're going this machine will turn in that direction much like the toro personal pace this is the same thing it it almost reads your mind and goes where you want it to go just by turn by moving this handlebar back and forth now with the intuitive steering system this is very much like any other zero turn mower except for it's controlled by the handlebars now if you watch down here i'm going to push the steering wheel to the left and you can see how this pushes and pulls this one here does the same thing so when i pull it back to the right you can see it acts just like a zero turn mower but essentially you're moving it with the handlebars. And I'm right now, I'm moving this handlebar with my just one hand and there's very little effort. But once this machine gets to moving, as with anything else, if anybody's ever drove a vehicle that does not have power steering, once you get rolling, everything moves a lot smoother. So as you can see how this works, it's just like a zero turn mower, but with handlebars. So now that I've gone over a lot of the main features, I'm gonna fire this up, I'm gonna quit yapping, and we're gonna start grass flapping. So we got this thing running I just want you to pay quick attention to my hands and how little effort it takes to move this thing Tell me that's not crazy. All right, so we've seen how easy it steers. Now we're gonna pump this thing all the way up, see if I can keep up with it, see how fast I'm gonna get tired.
<laughs> it's fast. <laughs> All right, so that got a little bit out of control. You're definitely going to need a sulky if you're going to wrap this thing out. So I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to put it on a average pace of how someone would probably mow their yard and see if I can, can control this thing and keep it in a straight line. I'm not going to pull any punches or make any excuses. That was my first time driving it. I think it could have been a lot straighter. But hitting those bumps, it did kind of move my hands around and that was that's what was causing the front end to move back and forth. Uh, I didn't think that it would do that. I thought it would be a little bit smoother. Uh, as far as the first try though, I think those are pretty straight lines. Even though it didn't look like it, uh, the grass looks fine, but the mower didn't look fine at all, did it? Now, of course, this does have the intuitive steering system, but it also has, like I say, the posi track drive. So I'm going to go away from the camera with the intuitive system, and I'm going to come back with the posi track, and you'll see how that straightens everything up. So the intuitive system is probably meant for more tighter yards and getting around corners and stuff, and you probably want that in posi track to go down straight, long lines. Here we go. Now, as you can see, that ran a very straight line. Uh, even my elbows weren't running back and forth because the hydraulics wasn't bumping it around. It just, uh, the posi track in the rear end, it's not really posi track, they're both running at the same speed. There's nothing steering those wheels, they both run at the same speed. Uh, man, I felt really comfortable on that way back, so. This mower has its spot in the tight lawns. It also has its spot in the big lawns where you need to run them long stripes. Just put, turn the intuitive steering off. You'll run a very straight line. You get around the flower beds, put that intuitive steering back on, turn all of them corners effortlessly. And, and I'll tell you what, I really like this mower. I'm just as excited about it as I was at the 2017 GIE. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of it. This is a great mower, so hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave the comment down below. My name is Randy and I'm out of here.